Hello, welcome back to Infinity Pro. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to solve hard SAT math problems in under 10 seconds. Okay, so let's start with this question. And this question is saying, which expression is equivalent to xy squared plus 2xy squared plus 3xy? And this may look a little daunting at first. You may not know what to do, but really, this is just combining like terms. All we have to do is xy squared and 2xy squared can be combined. So we just add them together and we get 3xy squared. And we can't add this to anything else, so that's just going to stay how it is. So we get plus 3xy, and we're left with answer choice B. That's our answer. Okay, so now let's go on to another question. And this is saying that based on the system of equations above, what is the value of 5x plus 5y? And um, you might be thinking, okay, let's just use the elimination method or the substitution method to individually solve for x and then y and then plug it back in. And that method will work fine. You'll get the answer. But if you want to do this on under 10 seconds, all we have to do is just add both of these equations. So when we add them, just going down, we get 5x plus 5y, and that's what we have to solve for, so that worked out really well. And then we just add this part down, and we get 2500. So 5x plus 5y is just going to be 2500, and that's our answer. Okay, so now let's go on to number 17, and this question is saying, the volume of a sphere is given by the formula of v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed where r is the radius of the sphere, which of the following gives the radius of the sphere in terms of the volume of the sphere. So this question might seem a little hard at first, but all we have to do is just rearrange it to get r by itself, which is the radius. So to begin, I'm just going to first divide out the 4 thirds over here. And to get the 4 thirds over here, you just get the, you just, when you divide a 4 thirds or a fraction, you just get the reciprocal and that's the same as dividing it. So the 3 fourths would go over there and we get pi r cubed. Then I'll just divide by pi, so we get 3v where 4 pi equals r cubed. Finally, I'll just take the cube root to get to isolate r, and we get the cube root of 3v over 4 pi equals r, and that lines up with the answer choice d. That's going to be your answer. Okay, now let's go on to number 34, and 34 is saying that point c is the center of the circle above. What fraction of the area of the circle is the area of the shaded region. Now, um, for a lot of these circle questions, it's just a matter of setting up ratios. And for this one in specific, all we really have to do is know that if we know that there's 360 degrees total in um, a circle, and we know that this part of it is 100, our fraction is just 100 over 360. And all we have to do here is just simplify, because it's asking what fraction of the area of the circle is the area of the shaded region. So all we have to do is just cross out the zeros to begin with, and we're left with 10 over 36. And then divide by 2, and we get 5 over 18. That's our answer. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you liked this, comment down below saying you liked it. But if you'd rather see some tips and tricks videos like before, just go ahead and comment down, and we'll get those going. And if you guys need some extra personalized tutoring, we do have a Fiverr page, and the link will be down below. And that's about it for today. I hope you guys have a great day.